So, welcome all. My name is Luke Master. Um, I'm from Finland, uh, presenting this uh, project that I work on at Hawaii uh, Lab, a project called Big Documentaries. And uh, this session I want to frame as an opportunity for collaboration uh, within, uh, within our different uh, movement projects and uh, existing resources. How uh, Wiki Documentaries can a bit bring them more together. Uh, so, going to the movement uh, vision, uh, I think the question is we are collecting this sum of open knowledge, but how can we view it? Uh, in a way, Wikipedia, how it started, is a very good beginning for viewing uh, the sum of open knowledge. If we have an article about it, it has the maybe nicest images already picked and so on. But Wikipedia is not the place to show, for instance, all the images that we have about a certain topic. Uh, commons. You have to go to commons to separately to see it. And I think at least for a uh, uh, um, kind of person who doesn't know uh, Wikimedia so well, it's difficult for them to know that in, in a Wikipedia article often you can scroll down the page and at the very bottom of the page there's a link view uh, uh, images, view media on commons. Uh, instead, uh, we hope that it would be more obviously visible that there is uh, material available. And then if you consider Wikidata, um, it has a lot of information, but Wikidata.org itself, uh, the website, it's a wiki, and it shows you one page at a time, whereas Wikidata, the important part is more the connections between all the different items. So then I think um, an average person uh, when they arrive at wikidata.org and find some item, they won't be able to understand what all is available. They don't understand that there's again a commons uh, category link and they're supposed to click it and then they will be taken to commons to see everything that is available. So this is kind of the uh, uh, problem that we are trying to address. Um, um, this goes to a bigger vision of, of Hawaiian land then, to have this media commons. So no, not the sum of all knowledge, but the sum of all commons media that is available online. Uh, again, Wikimedia Commons is just a small part of that. And uh, we have various disconnected places where, where these uh, materials are currently available. Um, so we hope that what kind of uh, space it should be. So you should be able to somehow combine images that are in Wikimedia Commons, combine images that are in Flickr, uh, and, and, and so on. Uh, the different archives of different museums that have not been combined into Commons. Uh, and we see that the role of Wikimedia projects here would be to kind of make the connections between, for instance, uh, media from, from, from different uh, institutions. Um, then a bit about my background, how I see technology. Um, so I used to work as an enterprise architect. Um, so for me to, to plan uh, what should be the technical uh, decisions we make is to first look at the current situation, uh, take as the input, uh, who are the users of our uh, services, uh, what are their aims, backgrounds, capabilities, and so on. Uh, then take the organizational context, in this case, the movement. Uh, what roles do we have uh, in, in our movement, in the um, organization, the different VPs, and so on. Uh, and what are the processes we have, for instance, uh, things that are important <coughs> on the commons uh, regarding uh, um, for instance, the organization of the categories, how it happens, and how it is decided if an image is acceptable on commons or, or it has to be removed. Um, and then have a look at the current technology. So, um, what software and services platforms do we have now? 
um, what APIs do we have available, when we work with institutions, what are their um, current um, capabilities, for instance, regarding how they are able to publish um, media. And then we have, when we have this situation, uh, then kind of the architecture process should produce the output, some plans and roadmaps that are um, both uh, looking at the vision which may be very far uh, uh, out there, uh, hopefully we plan 10 years ahead and more, uh, but then also have some roadmaps, some clear steps, what should we do next uh, to get there. Uh, and with these plans and roadmaps we will then answer questions like how to better serve the users given the uh, available resources, they are always of course limited. So uh, then regarding for instance which software we should retire to get more resources for new things, uh, which software we should adopt that someone else has made and we could make use of it in the Wikimedia movement, and which software should be built. And based on this thinking, uh, it seems to me that uh, Wiki Documentaries is a piece of software that has been missing, missing in our big picture. We have users who don't understand Wiki as well, uh, and we would want them to, to see that some of um, all, the, all the media and some of all the knowledge that is available. Uh, and we are mostly using Wikis currently, and uh, we need something more to add to that. So, Wiki Documentaries now is this is new piece of software. Uh, you have an animation there to see, like, a demo, and we can follow together later. But basically, you search for anything, and it will suggest you some Wikidata items about it. So, for instance, this faculty here, uh, and then we will bring uh, the article, all the Wikidata information that is available. Uh, search for the columns images, uh, but then also search external repositories. Uh, so, at the end of the page, there will be images that we have found that are not not yet on on Wikimedia projects. Um, and then um, we can then display and visualize these materials and try to be quite uh, have maps and lots of photos. So, for instance, what has been these text links on Wikidata.org? If we can find an image about this, uh, uh, for instance, the city where this uh, uh, faculty is located, so then we have an, a picture of the video instead of just the word. Trying to make it more engaging and uh, um, also easier to use. Um, yeah, and then a newest thing is that we now uh, allow uploading those images that are not yet on Wikimedia uh, Commons, but we have found in an institution uh, that has licensed them properly, so they can choose that. Okay, I want this image uh, uploaded to Commons as well. I'll show you more about that. Um, maybe at this point, if there are any questions about like uh, what is going on in the I have a question. Sure. So it displays the information from different projects, but at the same time, it is a tool to a tool to upload images. Yes. So we are trying to bring here together uh, so that all the tools. Uh, for viewing data, but then also little by little also for making small edits so that uh, you don't have to jump into the uh, more difficult uh, current interfaces if there's a simple way to do it. Of course, if you have to do something complex, you will need a more advanced user interface. But for a simple thing like, okay, I would want this image now to actually be on commons, should be just a couple of clicks. So we're making, trying to make that. Uh, so it's not for like uploading images from campus institution when they're more than one, but many, many. Is it like a good tool for that, or it's not the goal of this? Uh, it, it's not the main goal, so you would need to click each image that you want to upload. That's nice. More, yeah, go, I think going back to the vision that we don't see all images <coughs> to be mass uploaded in the future. <coughs> The institutions have so much more uh, common stuff, and maybe it doesn't make 
a sense to, to try to create a type of labor and examples of images of uh, archaeological items. Rocks and rocks and same similar kind of coin, the images, it doesn't make sense to have all of them. Uh, but of course, for the institution, the archaeological museum, it makes a lot of sense to have, have images about all of them. And then we try to somehow, when you want to know information about some uh, old building, then we can show that these, uh, uh, this museum has these coins that were found in this building. I hope this helps. Yeah, yeah, thanks. What is uh, your intended user? Because I, 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 you know, that I love the documentaries. I yes, that. yes. But w uh, when you created the project, who were the main users that you thought of? Um, there have been various goals during the project, so I can't speak to all of them. Uh, but um, as I see as the main user, the, the general public, someone who would go to Google to do a Google search and look on the Google, what Google images can show about something. Uh, someone for whom maybe uh, the Wikimedia Commons search is already kind of too difficult that they don't uh, find what they want. Uh, for instance, because of uh, the synonyms to uh, search for uh, apple the fruit and you will get something about the Google company or vice versa. So uh, we hope that this is easier to type apple and then we choose the union the fruit. And can you, sir, can you see how many people visit the Wiki documentaries? Like, what is the reach of the project? Uh, yes, uh, we could have a look at it, but I think it's not a lot because we are still kind of in the experimentation phase. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of the things that we now present are, are new from from this summer, for instance, and I think we're now slowly getting into the phase where mm -hmm. it's, it makes sense to to bring the public. And one more question: How do people go there? Like, where's you know how they can know that it exists? And yes. So this is the same. Besides Google, like yes. Yes, I was saying that it's difficult for the users to know all the tools that exist and how to find them. And now we are adding one more tool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I do notice that for some Google searches. Uh, Wiki documentaries will already be kind of on the top because it will find some of the long tail of things that don't have much uh, data available on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's a question for us as movement to, to think, is it important to have this kind of end user interface that is simpler than the Wikis that we have currently? And if so, then do we link, for instance, from uh, each Wikidata item on Wikidata.org that Yes, I want a more visual and more easy to use interface. Mm -hmm. I can go there. Mm -hmm. So that would be. Does it somehow replace the media? Like, uh... um, we say that if we want it to be the goggles to have a look, an easier look at, at what's out there. So I think wikis will always be a bit more towards the active participant when you have already learned about all the things that are there and what's possible and you start to make edits yourself then you go to the, the existing interfaces so we're not replacing them totally but more more bringing because there are already these easy to use tools so more like bringing them together into one place to be more discoverable there are some upload tools to upload from uh, external archives to commons but we wanted to make it easy to find the image and then you don't have to know where it's from, the upload button will be the same and the basic process. That's the idea. Um, yes, so I mentioned that we can show images from some institutions uh, that are not on, on the media commons. Uh, so currently, yes, of course, it was, uh, which is um, a unique design we created by, by the media commons. And then we can also go through the Wikidata item connections. So when you look on the page about the birds, we can then go to Wikidata to see what are all the bird species. And then we can show images that depict any bird. Uh, even if on commons it doesn't say that it's a bird, it depicts, uh, I don't know, an eagle. Um, 
and to continue a bit on the structured data to give you a more concrete example and also as an example of the kind of collaboration we have recently done. Uh, this was also um, done uh, this summer, or finished this summer. Um, so it was this archaeology project with um, a museum in Finland in Turku called Apa Vetus. Um, so they had these images of archaeological items and they uploaded them to Commons. Um, and then together we figured out what kind of structured data they should uh, uh, include about each of these uh, images to tell what kind of item it uh, picks. Um, and then we have um, implemented a facility browsing and um, filtering of these uh, images so that because it's a vast collection uh, uh, potentially, so how to bring down to uh, anything that the visitor finds interesting. So here's an image of what it looks like. You scroll down the video documentaries page, uh, you go to actually you can go to the page of the exhibition and the exhibition page will show, oh yeah, so these uh, uh, images are about this exhibition. Uh, so here as it goes, if you scroll down you will see a lot more. Uh, but here you will see kind of uh, in in facets uh, <coughs> what are the ways you can filter. You can filter by the material or what was the use of the item, where it was discovered, uh, who the um, museum people think owned this specific item, uh, and yes, the, the depiction. So for instance, if it's uh, stove tiles, then you can just click there to, if you're interested to see the stove tiles. So as, as an example here, I have clicked uh, material silver, so it filters down to only show those six uh, uh, that are about uh, uh, something made in silver. And then the other numbers will also update, so uh, we will see that five of them are coins and one of them is a silver spoon, for instance. And then, as an example, if I was only interested in the coin, uh, I can click there to filter more and now I only have the images of those uh, five coins that they have in the collection. I think this is something that uh, hasn't uh, been available before uh, based on structured data on commons, and I think it's a very interesting, interesting way to look at very large amounts of things. So, what kinds of animal pictures we have on commons, for instance, and uh, yeah, things like this. And it's a bit experimental, um, given that these structured data on commons APIs are not in a perfect uh, shape. Um, so, for instance, this data doesn't hold
and then the last section is from from the archives in the other external archives. So I suppose some Finnish uh, um, museums, but all these are actually mostly non-structured data, communist stuff. Is there anything? Oh yeah, there's something. So there's uh, some uh, uh, maritime museum in Finland. So maybe a Finnish ship visiting. So I could find find uh, this kind of image, and then if, if I want to upload it, I can just choose here and okay, upload it, and it tries to fill in the uh, metadata. It's still a bit uh, experimental, but uh, in this case. Looks fine otherwise, but of course it would be nicer to be in English. So now it's from a Finnish museum, so the metadata they have is in, in, in Finnish. And for instance, this one we wouldn't upload because the creator is, is missing in the original day. Yeah, but so yeah, if you go to, to this um, exhibit, or actually you can go to the house that the archaeological. Uh, exhibition is, is based on. So you can could have an article, so in English there is no article in you finish the would be one. Uh, and then you find uh, this is what I was showing. So the tiles were kind of interesting so tiles But 
if it's an important piece of art, then it can have its own metadata item, and then we can show it based on that. Yes, that might actually be missing, we are not showing it. Yes, it's, it's a lot of like, there's so many things we could show and little by little learning. Yeah, and that would be very simple thing to add. So basically, all of, or most of these sections are Sparkle queries that if you can use the Wikidata query service to find it, then you can display it here. Yeah, or anything you want to demo or about that together? I'd like to know where you can find the code. Sorry? Where can I find the code? Uh, on GitHub, uh, in the Wiki Documentaries organization. So there's the uh, UI, uh, which is most of the app, uh, written in Vue and JavaScript. And then there's the Wikipedia uh, Commenters API repository, which we use to do some server backend things, for instance, connecting to these uh, institutional APIs. This is uh, um, JavaScript uh, REST API. And yes, let's check the meta page. It should be.
case, I'm super interested because I like I'm just starting to commission a similar work to a uh, software company. We we have a project documentation, right? So we have an instance, for instance, give you an example, a page about rocket scopes, right? Which are a specific type of cheap uh, cookie device. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we show on our wiki instances of uh, those projects that we have more than one. And then we bring in stuff from Wikipedia or images. So just adding it here would be, but it would save so much time. Uh, for example, but then people who are specifically doing that, doing that kind of research probably are not interested in some parts of the information that's shown here or in, in a yeah. different order. Okay, so yeah, and if it is a fork, then actually that's also very simple because I think it sounds like it would be enough to fork the UI. And you can deploy it on x or something and be done with it. So, ah, okay. Because you can still use the same backend and the Wikimedia APIs. And yeah, I mean, if, if we don't have to fork it and it's useful to you, I can show you, we can chat later. Yeah. Then, you know, because we have some projects that we want to show you. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it sounds easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Just, yeah. It feels like there's so much potential because the integrations don't have to be complicated. Yeah. But the more modular, the easier that's going to get, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. If it's a new component, it's a new component, you can copy one of the existing systems. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I think there used to be an easy way to open the entity page, but maybe they have somehow changed the sharing. But yeah, I think, well, we started a bit late, but still more or less we were uh, 